For part two of the Vital Conflict res Resolution Technique video, I will explain to you how to convert this process into a two-person process. So let's say that the conflict is between you and one other person. What I did on your um, handout is I put a bold line here. So what this means is this is you and this is the other person. So what you're going to do is you're going to take control of the meeting, but you're always going to let allow the other person to go first. So I'm going to walk you through this. So let's say that you have a, um, an issue with a co-worker who likes to socialize and they share an office with you. And so you you feel like you're not getting your work done and it's it's bothering you and you really like your coworker but you'd like to you know put out some guidelines and some rules so that you can get your work done. So here you are. So um, I'm going to go ahead and talk you through it. And let's say my office office mate is Joan. So I'm going to say, hey Joan, um, could I have a minute of your time? Um, recently, we've been spending a lot of time talking and, and having fun in our office, which is which is really great. Um, the situation, as I see it, is I'm not getting all the work that I need to have done, and and I kind of like your viewpoint on it. Um, whether you know you feel like you're getting the work that you need to get done here, or whether we need to do something about it, what do you think? So Joan says, well, actually. You know, I'm getting most of my work done, but I probably could get a little more done. You know, we're having a lot of fun here and, and um, you know, I could probably use that. And so then I say, OK, so what you're saying is, you know, you're getting a lot of work done, but you could probably get more. Is that right? She says, yeah. Well, you know, as I see it, um, I think, you know, I could be getting a little bit more done. and. Um, when I get home at night, I'm not able to to work on this. So, you know, sometimes I have to come in early morning or stay late just to get my work done. And I really need to get that done. So um, would you just for clarity repeat what I said? So Joan repeats what I said and I say, yeah, you know, that's right. So in summary, I guess, you know, we're having a lot of fun here and I really love having you as an office mate and certainly don't want to change that. But um, I'm sensing that both of us, you've stated it and I've stated it, that, you know, we could probably be getting a little bit more work done. So what do you think we should do about it? Now we're into brainstorming. So she says, well, you know, we could have a timer on the desk. We could have an egg timer that we just turn over when we start talking. Um, or, and then she gives some ideas and I give some ideas and, well, what do you think we should try? Let's try something. What do you think we should try? She says, well, let's do the egg timer thing. All right, that sounds good. So my role will be to find an egg timer and bring it in and you will, and then she will finish the sentence, hopefully. Um, well, I will make sure that unless it's really important um, that has to be done, I will uh, stick to that egg timer. Okay, let's give it a try. I'll bring the egg timer in and on Friday we can talk about it and see if things are getting any better or if maybe we just need to move things to a uh, shared lunch, having lunch together and, and catching up at that time or another one of our ideas that we had selected. As you can see, it was really easy and casual and you can make this casual or formal, but it's really easy to, to make into uh, a two-person process. The thing is you have to take the lead you have to each state your opinion and repeat each other's for clarity. Brainstorm to find a solution and get commitment onto what you're going to do and set up follow-up time. It's, it's that simple. So you can use the same worksheet basically. Just adjust it a little bit if you want to have a worksheet. All right, so that's it for the conflict resolution technique put into two person. Now this is really useful at home. Um, you can use it with kids. You can use it with
with adults, this process is really, really easy to learn and really easy to use. That's it for now.